when you were younger, did you ever look up at a sky sprinkled with millions of stars and just want to reach out and grab one? Almost like catching fireflies in a jar, I had always wanted to pluck a star straight out of the sky and cup it in my hand. What if I told you that bottling a star and putting it in a lab would generate limitless clean energy? That with simply a star, we could eliminate our global emissions forever. Now, I would like to ask you, what do you think this image is? So this is about 30 billion kilograms of coal. 30 billion. Can you believe that? Do you know what this coal is used for? One day of the world's electricity needs. One day, that's it. This much coal would emit over 60 billion kilograms of carbon dioxide every single day. Now, of course, coal is not our only possible energy source. Nuclear fission is becoming a large source of the world's electricity needs, especially here in the Czech Republic. Fission reactions occur when a neutron slams into a larger atom, forcing it to split into two smaller atoms, also known as fission products. Additional neutrons are released from the products that can initiate a chain reaction. When each atom splits, a tremendous amount of energy is released. Fission reactions produce about three million times more energy than their coal counterparts without producing any carbon dioxide or greenhouse gases. That's good, right? However, fission reactors are not without their flaws. Though they do not produce any greenhouse gas emissions, Fission reactors produce harmful radioactive waste that is hazardous for thousands of years. So, you may be feeling a bit defeated, wishing that an alternative solution existed, one that could provide limitless clean energy to the world, a solution that would not only allow us to achieve environmental sustainability, but also provide immense amounts of energy to the entire world at an affordable price. Now, you may not believe me when I say this, but this solution actually exists, and it is known as nuclear fusion. Fusion is essentially the opposite of a fission reaction, where two light nuclei merge to form a single heavier nucleus, releasing massive amounts of energy, up to four times more than a fission reaction. Fusion reactions produce no waste or greenhouse gas emissions while producing the same amount of energy as 10 million kilograms of coal with only one kilogram of fusion particles. So instead of using that 30 billion kilograms of coal, we could use only 3,000 kilograms of fusion particles and generate the same amount of energy. Crazy, right? So you may be wondering then, why on earth is the whole world not powered by fusion reactors? Why do we still have the problem of global warming and carbon dioxide emissions? Well, I may have left out one small detail. Fusion reactions do exist, naturally, in the sun and all stars of the universe. Unfortunately, the earth is not a star. And in the last three decades, scientists have come to one sure conclusion. It's really, really, really hard to recreate a star in a lab. To trigger fusion, you need similar temperature and pressure to that of the sun. So, only about 100 million degrees Celsius, along with being able to regulate pressure and magnetic forces. Not too hard, right? Though fusion reactors produce incredible amounts of energy, the largest challenge we have been battling for the past 30 years is developing a reactor that actually produces more energy than it uses. However, even with the monumental challenges that fusion does bring, we are making incredible strides. 
and I would like to tell you about my three personal favorites. First, in 2020, the National Institute of Fusion Research, located in Tokyo, Japan, reached the 100 million degrees Celsius mark with the largest superconducting helical device in the world, the large helical device. Second, in 2021, at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the strongest superconducting magnet ever created on Earth reached a field strength of 20 Teslas. This invention has allowed for engineers and scientists to facilitate fusion reactions in labs, which was previously making limited progress. And finally, in December of 2022, a fusion reaction run at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California achieved net positive energy, where more energy was generated from the reaction than was put in to initiate it. It was the first time that humankind had ever achieved this landmark. And this is not the only progress that we have achieved. Companies are starting to listen. Governments are starting to listen. We are finally beginning to realize the damage that climate change has and will cause and are truly beginning to invest in solutions that could change the world. Helion, an American fusion research company located in Everett, Washington, has just signed the first ever fusion energy purchase agreement with Microsoft. The company plans to begin producing energy as early as 2028, drastically shortening the predicted timeline for viable fusion energy. This agreement will hopefully be the first of many, leading the world down a path of fusion-generated energy. We keep saying, we will make change, we will lower our emissions, and yet there is now a 50% chance that we will surpass the 1.5 degree Celsius limit by 2027, compared to the 2015 prediction of close to 0%. Fossil fuel production is predicted to reach an all-time high in 2023. Therefore, it is more important than ever that we invest in solutions that will eliminate our emissions permanently. 10 years ago, fusion was still an idea that existed in the stars. But today, we are so much closer to commercial fusion than we could have ever imagined. So now, when you look up at the night sky, you don't have to dream about catching that shooting star millions of light years away. It's right here, sitting in a lab, ready to change the world.